No, I'm. Um, yeah, it's gonna be a new challenge. Enough. It's gonna be really interesting. Yeah, you yeah, have to get uh, round by dark health every day. Yeah, <laughs> <laughs> it's, 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 gonna happen, mate. It's, it's inevitable. It will happen. He's pretty good at it. I swear, I'm gonna be I'm gonna be known on YouTube after that. Hey guys, it's Matthias. Yeah, um, we're talking a bit about uh, this guy, Dark Elf Druid. Since uh, there are a couple of us who expect to get trolled a bit now with the new server merges coming. Anyway, I went on Miller the the other day and uh, I was flying the Reaver a lot. Uh, most of the gameplay here is going to be with the Air Hammer, but in the beginning I'm going to use the Vortec a bit. And man, oh man, is this the wrong time to run out of ammo? Yeah, I actually tried to ram him there, but it failed miserably. By the way, a big portion of this video is going to be air to ground, and here I've spawned a uh, reaver with a loadout, rocket pods and air hammer, still using harvestability and fire suppression. I know uh, air to ground it always stirs up a lot of feelings, it's uh, very controversial for whatever reason, uh, getting twice or three times the amount of kills with a tank or a max doesn't seem to bother people as much. So I'm not going to fly all that much with the rocket pods, because, I mean, holy shit, if I did, then I would just be swimming in search, right? Anyway, I was able to find a Sunderer here, that, uh, it, it's a Vanus Sunderer, and there's a couple of guys spawning in on it. And, of course, I have to fly down here and see if I can take it out. I'm running a little low on rocket pods, and here goes the first volley. I missed the Sunday, and I hit, um, on the left side of it. Instead I switched to the air hammer, but I missed the Sunday again, and I shoot on the right side of it. Yeah, it's a little bit of a fail there. Identified a Republic mosquito. So yeah, I will continue with the RM as soon. I just want to show you another air-to-air -air situation here with the Vortex Rotary. Now, with the uh, Rotary and the Air Hammer, you need to get close. And the leading with the Rotary is a bit different compared to what I'm used to. And so I just basically rush uh, my opponent here, and I was able to finish him off. Most uh, pilots uh, will agree that the Reaver is the best for this type of playstyle. At the same time, unless you're using the default gun, if you fight at range, you're gonna find yourself in a massive disadvantage, especially against sights, but I'm actually quite uncomfortable fighting mosses at range with uh, the rotary as well. So, uh, killing infantry with the rotary, it's perfectly doable, but most of the time I actually feel like I'm just wasting ammo. Now, it is of course good to know how to do this. Uh, it uh, forces you to fine-tune your aim, and um, if there's nothing else around you to fight, then, I mean, why not? Well, actually, there's a good reason why not. And that's a ground lock-ons and flak. So yeah, when it comes to the three Emperor Pacific uh, anti-infantry guns of the ESFs, the only true viable option when it comes to fighting enemy ESFs is the Air Hammer. Now, I do get kills with uh, the Light PPA and the Banshee on enemy ESFs, but uh, the situations where that occurs are just... Uh, yeah, they're just so favorable to bo towards me in terms of uh, the engagements, uh, the angles or experience that... Th the. PPA and the Banshee, just, they are just not viable options for it. So now as much as it's important to get close when you're fighting enemy ESFs with the air hammer, this is not as important when you're using it for air to ground. But the light PPA is of course the one that has the advantage when it comes to range, but uh, many times this doesn't matter because uh, infantry won't render at those distances anyway. And after flying with it here a bit, I have to say that the range of the air hammer seems to be quite underestimated. I realized that uh, in many situations I actually went closer to the enemies than I had to, flying way more risky than necessary. Now for air to air it's a different story, but if you are used to the Vortex Rotary, you actually don't need to change up your playstyle all that much. You do however have to lead a little bit more though. 
and you definitely have to take in consideration the long reload time because that can actually cause a lot of trouble I had a lot of fights with this guy Solant and uh, yeah, he was absolutely fearless. He tried to engage me even when uh, it ended up him being alone against like five Reavers. And yeah, there was a lot of unfair fights as I'm sure you can imagine. Now when you're doing this, shooting uh, uh, infantry like this at this close range, you need to keep at least some momentum. Because if you don't, you're going to be hit by either tanks or dumb fire rockets. Normally over a landing pad like this, uh, tanks are not the biggest threat, but you never know. I'm actually getting a little bit indecisive when it comes to picking targets here and I'm rather lucky this uh, Max down here is not an anti-air Max because uh, if it was then I would have had to either kill him faster or fly away. Yeah, eventually he got his revenge. It's funny with that Max, that moment uh, I was down, the monster would have been free XP, but uh, yeah, he didn't seem all that interested. Landed sight though, that's free XP for me. And if there is anything that is satisfying to do with the air hammer, it's killing Maxes. I really don't like Maxes in Planet Side 2, and killing them, it just gives me this great feeling of achievement. Now, when it comes to chases, the Mossy has many times been described as the best one, and that is because of its faster cruising speed. But uh, the Reaver has an ace up its sleeve, and that is the stronger afterburner. And now, since the chased uh, ESF always have to make all these turns and uh, maneuvers. It actually allows uh, a slower ESF to catch up with it, since the chasing pilots don't have to maneuver the same way. Identified a Republic mosquito. Visual on a mosquito. DR mosquito spotted.
Ah, oh, Sullivan's come back. <laughs> At least I haven't seen ML7 by that uh, level 44 that I've got Araxium on it already. <laughs> That's the only weapon he used, something. Oh, I found a zombie. Perhaps I can miss it. See, in the beginning of the gameplay, I was just soloing, but later I joined up in a squad with the mercenaries. And as I kept using the air hammer, uh, my kills became more reliable. Uh, I started engaging um, enemies at further range, and I also realized, or I started getting a little bit better feel of how much I needed to shoot at my opponents in order to kill them many times, uh, especially in the beginning. I just keep firing on opponents after I've killed them, and yeah, it's uh, just a waste of ammo. Don't snipe out out on the back. Don't mm -hmm. climb. So I'm just coming in. I don't know why I'm I. Sure. So yeah, I'll end the post commenting here. I uh, hope you enjoyed the video. Hope you will continue the last few minutes here. And uh, yeah, I'll say thank you all for watching. And bye for now. Uh, Reaper's dead. Other side engaging you. Go in. If I'm going to apply, really. I think I'll switch to engine. <laughs> there is no one dropping ammo. That was nice. See me. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I will blame that shit. Okay, so it's clear here. I'm getting targeted because of both me. <laughs> Looks like it's the other path now. Alright. I would run on the outside. And have you used the uh, using the razor? Yeah, that's a pretty funny video of a mid level uh, okay. fighting. Yeah, and then a mid goes on yeah, next to a sky guard. The other guys, uh, farm them. Oh, it's big. I think we, we have destroyed them. I'm waiting for the yeah. RO army to come out. <laughs> Just that the only one? I'm sure they'll be around. No, no, after the last <laughs> surprise. <laughs> Uh, yesterday I was shooting a galaxy with a burst that was like uh, on the flight ceiling and